Hello and welcome to the MAC weather page for this Monday, March 26th. And the headlines, compared to what we've been, it's going to feel kind of balmy out there today with highs getting up around or in the low 50s. And we'll start off with plenty of sunshine, but the clouds is going to give way. And we'll see that rain move in tonight. And at times it could be moderate to heavy. And we expect the heaviest amount of rain to fall between 7 p.m. tonight and 7 p.m. Uh, Tuesday night. So again, I think many areas will pick up around uh, three quarters of an inch to maybe nine tenths, maybe an inch. Locally, we could see somebody pick up more than that in areas that may see some sort of a convective nature to the rain showers. And you can see this morning a nice look at starts of the day out at Nuevo. And we'll hopefully we'll have their transmitter replaced here uh, either today or sometime this week. And we should also have the Clarksville station up and running by the end of the week with any luck as well. As far as conditions around the area this morning, uh, temperatures in the mid-20s to around 30 as you get to the southeast part of the state. And if we look at the uh, next three days, I'm targeting about 7 tenths to 95 hundredths when you average all 14 weather stations combined. And again, hopefully we can get those stations up and running before the rain uh, hits uh, um, uh, later on uh, tonight. And you can see uh, the different areas, and we'll update that once the rain starts about every uh, couple of hours. And if we look at the uh, wrap up from yesterday, we had a cool high of 39. Normal highs now up in the mid to upper 40s. And we had a low of 23 degrees. And so far this morning, we were down to about 25 degrees. You can see no precipitation, uh, 2200s for the month, 4.16 so far for the season. And if we look at satellite view this morning, you can see some of the uh, darker uh, enhanced clouds beginning to develop across areas of Kansas and Nebraska. Uh, moving into Iowa and uh, Missouri, this is the area that's going to continue to develop the rainfall as it pushes it, this warm air pushes up into the cold air, overruns it, and we get some pretty good areas of showers. I don't think we'll see any thunder. If we do, it'd be in the far southern part of the state, but again, mainly a rain event, and it'll rain uh, moderately to even uh, briefly heavy at times over the next 24 hours, beginning at 7 o'clock tonight. As far as our radar, you can see that uh, area of showers really beginning to blossom off to our southwest. And again, as that system moves this way, so will the rain. And we'll go from nice and sunny to uh, rainy and within about a 12-hour period. And if we look at the uh, 12, this is the 24-hour uh, rainfall forecast from 7 p.m. tonight till 7 p.m. Tuesday. And you can see some areas very heavy across portions of Illinois and Indiana off to our south. And again, any place in the blue will be greater than a half inch. So that's quite a bit of rainfall in about a 12 to 24 hour period. And if we look at the forecast today, again, it'll be nice and uh, mild out with sunshine to begin the day. Highs in the low 50s, we'll see more rain uh, tonight and tomorrow. And with that, we'll have temperatures hold around 50 degrees uh, for tomorrow. We'll get uh, warmer into uh, Wednesday into the uh, low 50s, and I think the warmest day of the week could be Thursday out ahead of the next system that could actually bring us some snow by the end of the week. And uh, again, we could see highs possibly up into the upper 50s. We'll drop down into the uh, low to mid 40s over the weekend. And again, we're going to want to watch the system for Friday night and Saturday. Uh, it could actually bring us a touch more snow than what we're thinking right now, but that's something we'll want to keep an eye on and certainly the cool uh, weather conditions are going to return behind that system. As far as weather watch this morning, you can see the area flood watch off to our southwest, winter weather advisories uh, from around the Minnesota area back into the Dakotas and down into northwest Iowa. And again, we may get a taste of that by the end of the week. Thanks for stopping by and have yourself a great day, a great work week, and 73s to all.